what is going on guys it's your boy phoenix here back with a brand new marvel spider-man 2 informational video and today insomniac has clapped back at the community for sending some violent threats to the staff so without a doubt if you guys haven't already make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button down below hit that subscribe button as well and without a doubt let's go ahead and jump right into the video so this article from dexterto says despite launching to rave reviews in 2023 marvel spider-man 2 has found itself in mired controversy a time or two notably the face model for mj stephanie tyler jones called out a segment of the fan base for calling her place of employment late last year she said that the messages that were left made her feel uncomfortable now as you guys know this did happen fans that you know that you know go out with their left hand decided it'd be fun to call up stephanie tyler jones based on her face model and decided to pretty much tell her that you know that she was ugly and stuff like that and stuff like that you know it just ended up not going anywhere and after that she also quit right after due to the fact that the fans don't know how to touch some grass but following that it says unfortunately it doesn't appear as though the harassment stopped there and Sonic's community developers were forced to address threats the team has received because of the ongoing silence regarding the game's update Insomniac's advanced senior community manager Aaron Jason Espinoza recently posted a tweet telling players that sending violent threats to game developers over game development things is childish and it's just plain fucking stupid. Now I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie here. This man is speaking factuals. He is speaking straight up factuals. I hope you guys do know that during the whole entire insom hack that happened late last year where they dropped their whole entire timeline and the dlcs and every single game they have coming out right after that do not rush a dlc if y'all want a dlc to be rushed it doesn't make any sense now i understand i want the new game plus update too but i would rather wait and i'd rather make sure the game is fully polished before we get a chance to play it but following that the community director and marketing director James Stevenson also chimed in by saying, don't do this. We know you want updates and info. We're working on getting things to you as fast as we can, given the extraordinary circumstances our team has faced. Now, obviously this is in reference to the whole entire Insom hack that happened late last year in December, and pretty much that put out their whole entire plan. So that's pretty much the reason why they haven't been dropping new content. You guys that are waiting for new game plus and the potential dlc which also got leaked stay calm and let them do their thing let them take their time i don't know if you guys know this but do you know how long game development is it just makes a lot of sense for them to take time so without a doubt if you guys haven't already let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and i'll see you guys later with another spectacular spidey webtastic banger